The raccoon was easily the most exciting performer on the Masked Singer premiere. He was funny, entertaining, and stole the show. But he thinks he can hide behind the mask. Well, Mr. Raccoon, I'm here to let you know you're getting exposed. Hi, I'm Mel and welcome to the Talent Recap Show. In this week's episode, we'll be revealing the celebrity behind the raccoon. And of course, for me to do that, I have to have my co-host Kyle, the mass singer detective, the official one, Talent Recap's pride and joy. It's so good to be reunited. Yeah, it's so good to be back, Mel. And you know, season five of The Masked Singer means that it's also season five of us co-hosting this together. So I'm excited to get right into it. I'm excited too. Now, I know you guys want to hear all about the premiere episode, but I think everyone wants to hear first, who is the raccoon, Kyle? The raccoon really kicked it off with a bang this season, and we have questions. So it's your time to reveal who that is. So the raccoon is... Drum roll. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. I mean, everybody loves him. I'm actually not surprised, but I'm intrigued. Why is it Danny? Totally. This is something he would do, but let's go through the clues. So first of all, we saw a donut in the clue package, and Danny Trejo has Trejo's Donuts, which I've actually had before here in L.A. They're pretty good. Uh, we also saw him talk about being uh, in, in jail. There was kind of allusion to that and that he was locked away. And Danny Trejo spent a lot of his early life in and out of prison uh, for different charges and things. Uh, we also saw 44 notches made on the wall uh, in the prison cell that he was in. And Danny Trejo was born in 1944. Uh, he also talked about reading The Hunchback of Notre Dame or reciting that uh, in his time. And in solitary confinement, Danny Trejo actually mentioned that Hunchback of Notre Dame was one of the books that he would recite in that time. So that's one of those things that it's almost too obvious of a clue yeah. that it has to be him. Uh, as we keep going through the clues, uh, we also saw some, uh, I'm totally going to mispronounce this, but pay PayPal Picado, which are like the colorful Mexican flags that you see like in Coco and stuff, which is a nod to his Mexican heritage. Um, we also saw a nod to the Mexican flag in stained glass where we saw him like riding over a snake and that kind of looked like the center of the Mexican flag. Um, he also talked about how he turned to God and, and wanted to do good after he got out of his difficult time, which again is not to prison. And Danny Trejo has talked about how God got him out of that difficult time and helped him do good after that. No matter how far away you think you are, all you gotta do is just turn to God. Uh, and lastly, Cloodle Do, which was another one of our new uh, game-changing things here in season five, talked about how Danny or had talked about how the raccoon was known for being sharp. And we also saw a knife in the clue package. And Danny Trejo has been in a lot of movies uh, by Robert Rodriguez. And in them, his name is always based on a knife. But in Spy Kids, his character's name was Machete. In From Dusk Till Dawn, his character's name was Razor Charlie. And in Desperado, his name was Nava, Navajas, again, might be pronouncing that wrong, uh, which is Spanish for folding knife. And a folding knife is really what we saw in the clue package there. Wow. So all that paired with the voice, the, the body structure and everything, the raccoon is Danny Trejo. Wow, Kyle, yes, Danny Trejo. I can definitely see that being him. If you guys aren't familiar, he is an actor. He's definitely been in one of your favorite films, TV shows. He is definitely a household face. You know this man whenever you see him on the screen. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's very, very possible that I missed some clues too. So I would love to hear all of your detective inclinations that you have from this too. So let us know if you have any clues that we missed or who you want us to unmask next because we will be back next week with more unmasked scenes again. Yes, you guys. So drop those comments. You know, every week we choose a comment of the week, but this season specifically, we're featuring those who are doing the detective work with us. Yes, you mini Kyles out there. If you drop some of your clues, we will be featuring you in next week's episode. But Kyle, I mean, let's get into this premiere though. They said that it would be a game changer and um, it definitely is. How are you feeling about episode one? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot different just watching through the episode, right? A different host. We saw Nisi Nash on the stage and these new components like Cloodle Do. I mean, obviously we saw Group A, but there have been some hints that we could be seeing some 
new stars you know in addition to what we're seeing this week and next week in group a and b so i think there are going to be a lot of surprises in store for us this season kyle it's funny that you bring up plural do and mm -hmm. i'm just intrigued because this is a new concept to the show you guys we have a well, on mass, a mass celebrity that is giving us extra mm -hmm. clues on the celebrities that are already on the show. Kyle, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering who is underneath that mask, and I wanted to know your thoughts. Yeah, you know, we haven't gotten a lot of clues about who the celebrity is yet, but I think it's probably a familiar face that we're used to seeing on the Masked Singer. Maybe someone like Joel McHale. Mm, you say that, but for me, I kind of have my own prediction here. I know that you're usually the detective, but I haven't seen you and Cloodle do in the same room, and it's kind of <laughs> making me suspect some things. And you are in L.A., and it is filmed in L.A., I'm just saying. <laughs> that is true, it, you know, I, I can't deny that, but I can't confirm it either. I mean... You know, you have contracts with Fox sometime, but let us know in the comments, you guys, because I kind of have a feeling it might be Kyle, but hey, you never know. Bet you can't guess who I am. Now, in this week's episode, we had a very special, um, interesting reveal of the snail who was none other than... Kermit the Frog. What? Kermit the Frog was revealed on the first week, the first episode of season five. Now, I feel like this was definitely a game changer because we always expect it to be a human, but not in season five. You know, it's as they say, it's not easy being green, <laughs> but uh, sometimes it's even harder being a snail. And, uh, I am never gonna hear the end of this from this beginning. Yeah, it was a very strange reveal to say the least. It was some like puppet costumes having happening there. I never would have guessed Kermit the Frog right off the bat. So Kyle, I have to shout out this one performance. It was Cisha who sang Listen to Your Heart. I could tell that she was super nervous and she's super passionate about being on the show and it kind of tugged into my heartstrings. I'm rooting for her, I loved her. Yeah, I thought it was a really solid performance. Looking at Seashell, the guesses of who people think she is online, uh, Mandy Moore has been thrown out a lot, Debbie Gibson, or uh, Tia or Tamara Maori. So Hillary those Dunn. are all options. Yeah, I think they're pretty good guesses. And then probably my favorite performances this week, I was most surprised by the Russian dolls. I mean, how many are, of them are there, that right? Is... They keep saying in all these promos, there are, you know, we've seen two of them, but they keep saying that they can multiply. So I feel like that's probably hinting at the fact that there's not only two Russian dolls. We might be in for another twist later on this season. I agree with you. I have no clue what's going on with that costume. Yeah, and we got our first Jamie Foxx prediction of the season with Robo Pine too. So... <sighs> You know, we can check that box. You know what? One season we might have Jamie Foxx. You never know. But till then, I guess keep on guessing, judges. But Kyle, I think it's time for us to wrap up this week's ep episode. Let everybody know where they can find you on social. Yeah, I'm came on pleasure on Instagram and Twitter. And then you could find me at double underscore M-E-L-B-A-E. -E. But make sure you're following Talent Recap on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You're on YouTube right now. Click the subscribe button at Talent Recap. And I think it's time for us to say that's our Talent Recap. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.